All right. Today I want to uh, talk about using a different emulator than the standard uh, Google emulator that comes with the uh, Android development kit. There's one that is just amazing, and it's called uh, Jenny Motion with a G, G-E-N-Y Motion.com. Uh, you can go there and log in and get this if you uh, and download it to your computer. It will work on a Windows or a Mac computer without any problem. And they have a free version which runs all the versions of Android that you care about, even the latest 4.4 version. Uh, it's just amazing. So you need to log in there, download that program, and install it. Uh, I'll go ahead and log in here and see what we can look for here. If I can remember my password. <coughs> and we can uh, go and download this file now. Well, I already logged in, so. Ah. So let's log in again. Not the easiest site to figure out. All right, so what you want is either the Mac version, and it'll work on Linux as well, or the Windows, and depending on whether you're running 32 or 64 bits, this works by using Oracle's VirtualBox, which is a, a virtual emulator for operating systems. And it, it, uh, it would let you run Linux, for instance, in a window on your Windows box. Uh, and that, what they're doing is they're actually running the entire Android OS in a virtual box partition, and it just runs super fast. It's amazing. So let's wait till this downloads and then we'll install it. All right, so we'll go ahead and run this program and choose your language, of course. And we just walk through these, just select the standard uh, options. and it will go through and do all of the installation for you. So that go also installs not only Jenny Motion but the uh, VirtualBox as well. So let's go ahead and launch this. And it's launching on my other screen here. Here we go. So once I already have this installed and I have some virtual devices already created, but from here, this is where I can play or start these devices. So let's add one. Uh, and you can see I can add a Galaxy Note using 4.1 or 4.4. Uh, so I can get the latest version of uh, whatever candy it is, I can't rem never remember those, but 4.4. So let's install a Galaxy Note 3, and it's going to have 3 gigs of RAM, and 1 CPU. We'll just accept that. <clears throat> and it, it will force you to log in, if you've never logged in before, from this screen as, again. And then you can save your credentials, and you won't have to log in again. But they track what... Uh, virtual devices you, you, you're using, but it, again, it's all free. So it creates that device, and this is the one it just created. Uh, if you've never had that on your system before, it's going to go and download files, and it takes uh, two or three minutes to download everything and set that up. Once it's set up, I can go ahead and hit play. And this will install the VirtualBox system 
uh, oh, actually launch it, it's already installed, and start our uh, Note 3. So this is our virtual Note 3. So it's going to look almost identical to the Google's version, but it, it's got a lot more controls uh, we can play with, and it just runs significantly faster. So here we, we're already launched, we're running. Let's now go into IntelliJ, and I've got a, a project open here. This is a standard uh, alarm system. And when I run this, I need to change the configuration so that it doesn't use the built-in uh, Google uh, virtual machine. So we want to change this, the target device, instead of saying the emulator down here uh, that we've created before, we want to say ch show chooser dialog and say OK. So now when we run our project, it's going to build uh, the project and then launch a little chooser dialog which is why you need to have your Motion running first. So we started Motion, and now it found that. It sees that Motion is a device on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one and say OK. So it's going to run. And let's switch over to the emulator. And there it is. Uh, to show you how fast that is, again, let's uh, Let's show it here. Let me log, let me quit this guy and run it again, and it will show you how fast this is. the The hardest part is doing the build, and but once I select OK, it adds it to the virtual device, and I'm running amazingly fast. And you can see that. I can move around between different uh, pieces, and this this was a student's. It's crashing here, but it uh, it is significantly faster. Just amazing how fast I can go and 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 uh, work back and forth. So it gets me back into my normal cycle of editing code, testing it right away, editing code, testing right away. Uh, it no longer takes you know, five, ten minutes even to start up your emulator. It's just right there all the time. And debugging works the same way. You can set breakpoints and debug in this virtual machine just like you did with the Google's uh, virtual device. So I highly recommend this. This will save you literally hours a day. So go ahead and install that and use that in place of the Google device uh, virtual device. All right, thanks.